Hey everyone, okay, new video. Today's video, I promise, is not gonna be a Game Boy. We're gonna take a break from those for a while. <laughs> we, I've, I've filmed enough Game Boys for a minute. So what are we gonna do today? Well, oh, look at this beauty. This is the Pikachu N64. Oh, I love this. Pikachu's cheeks, they light up. How cute is that, am I right? I'm super excited for this one. This isn't mine, this is my friend Rob's. I wish this was mine, but sadly it's not. Uh, I wish I could own this, but uh, they're kind of pricey, and uh, unfortunately I don't have enough money to just go out and buy one. But that's neither here nor there. We have one in front of us for a reason. That reason is, well, it's not in the best shape. So we're gonna kind of clean it up a little bit. We're gonna try to bring it back to its former glory the best that we can. So, first, let's slide this boy out. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? I mean, would you just, would you just look at it? Just look at it, look at that. <laughs> so Rob told me this was disgusting, but, uh, <laughs> this, is, this certainly is something. <laughs> oh, golly. Okay, this is re this is worse than I thought it was going to be. So here's like, okay. This is, this is so much worse than I expected. This is what I was told. It's a little dirty. It just needs a little bit of a cleaning. And uh, the joystick has a little bit of wobble. Okay, no problem. I figured that would be an easy little fix. He's like, it'll be a great video, you know? <laughs> it shouldn't take long. This looks like it was buried underground. I'm not even kidding. I know I've said that a few times about like other things, but this genuinely looks like it was underground. I'm not exaggerating. I've never <laughs> seen anything this bad before. I, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, all right, so we got that. I, I, I'm still, sorry, I keep going back to it. I'm shocked. Uh, he wasn't wrong though, our joystick is a little floppy here. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna fix that. What happened to this? <laughs> now I know he didn't do this. Okay, to be fair, uh, I know where he got this. He got this at a flea market. Uh, and I remember him telling me about it. But just seeing it in person is, it's astonishing. It smells. I can smell it from here. It's not even near my face. This smells horrible. Wow, great, wow. Thanks, Rob. I really appreciate you letting me, give me the, the privilege and honor to just clean the most disgusting N64 I've ever seen. This is awful. Um, I just noticed the, the layout's a little different on this. So I've never actually seen one of the, uh, the N64 uh, Pikachu, Pikachu N64 in person before. And it's a little different. We don't have the, the little feats. Let me go grab like another one for reference real quick. Okay, so here is the normal N64, your standard one, this one's mine. As you can see, physically they are a different size. This is actually, as you can see, this is physically wider because we have our little Pikachu here and it's a little shorter too. So it's physically wider and Okay, they're actually the same size. I thought it was gonna be a little shorter, but uh, the front of the original Nintendo 64 has these little uh, these little humps that come out here and have these little plastic feet on the bottom, and this doesn't have that. So, little different. Oh, we also lose our expansion port uh, for the uh, uh, disc, uh, the Nintendo 64 disc system. So sadly, uh, you can't 
hook that to this thing. <laughs> Not that I, I think anyone would. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's gross. That's good. I don't know what I expected. Poor Ash. Ash's face is like mostly gone. Wow, that is, that is, that's rough. Okay, so this is gonna come apart as well. We should see if this even works. I'm gonna hook this up to my TV that I have just off screen that you've never seen before, but it's been back there this whole time. Okay, so we're gonna try something new here. I've never done this before, but we now have a two camera setup going at the same time. That's right, we've got this camera here, up here, and we've got this camera over here. As you can see, I do have both cameras going. And in case you're wondering, there has been a fox wearing a sheriff's hat in the background of every video, just off screen. You couldn't see that it was there. That's that's normal, right? That's, that's a normal thing. Uh, anyways, let's, let's see if the Pikachu, or sorry, let's see if the Pokemon Pikachu N64 actually works. I've got the Westinghouse, Beautiful 24 inches of glory and it hooked up. We're gonna. Oh, okay. Okay, we have a. Let me tilt this. Can I? Whoop. Okay, cool. So the Nintendo 64 does work. Does the controller work at all? Yeah, okay. Does the joystick work? I don't know. I threw in Knockout Kings. Does our joystick work even remotely or is it just completely shot? Yeah, I think that's... So it's kind of fun that the, the little cheeks just stay lit up this whole time. If we hit the reset button, does that work? I don't think the reset button's working. Okay, I don't know that the reset button is working, uh, but our cheeks light up, which is good. Uh, it displays picture, which is good. Daisy. Daisy, thoughts? I agree. Um, so, all right, let's take this apart. I don't think the joystick is Oh, hi. Yes, miss. I don't think the joystick is working at all, but also I've never played Knockout Kings, so I don't know if you can control the menus with that. Um, okay, I think the next things to do is just to start disassembling. We're gonna start with the controller. I think what we're gonna do for the first video is we're gonna get the controller cleaned up. We're gonna fix this wobbly wonky little little joystick here and then for a part two we're gonna do a two-part video out of here because i'm gonna milk this thing as long as i can uh <laughs> this uh we're gonna take this apart and we're gonna clean this up and we're gonna see if we can get his, his little tootsie here working because uh his little tootsie doesn't do anything when you when you tickle it all right, so I guess, I guess that's the game plan. We're gonna work on this first for this video and get this thing back to as good of a condition as we possibly can. I am still just absolutely flabbergasted by the condition of this thing. It's, it's astonishing. I've never seen a N64 controller that terrible. I, I want to know, has anyone seen one worse than this? You know those videos you see, uh, I'm just going to go on a brief sidebar here. You know those videos you see online of, uh, it's if, <laughs> where it's just some guy walking through like a, um, a dump or something and then finds a, like it's usually like a Game Boy or a Nintendo DS or something like that. And he finds it in like a pile of trash, like physically caked in mud and then takes it home and then just does this whole restore video. And it's clearly fake, you know, because he opens it up and there's like mud smeared on the motherboard and everything. It's clearly a fake video that they do just for views where they just, fake the damage to it they 
film one in great condition and then they destroy it and then basically just kind of do it in re reverse. This is to the extent of those fake videos without it being fake. <laughs> this is actually horrific levels of dirt and grime as if someone pulled this out of a dump. All right, whatever. Uh, let's just let's just let's just jump into this. All right, so we're gonna start on the controller first. I feel like that's gonna be a, a whole video on its own, and then we'll deal with that N64 at a later date. And I mean, I know I've shown it a bunch, but I really cannot stress everything. Every crack and crevice is just caked with dirt and filth and grime, and I really. I would, I would love to know how it gets to this point. Like it's, it, it's astonishingly gross in there. So I did look, one of the screw holes is actually filled with dirt in its own right. So this genuinely had to be sitting in dirt, <laughs> which is amazing. Uh, but whatever, okay, you, you've heard me talk about this thing being filthy for long enough. I just, I'm sorry, I can't get over it. It's the, the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, so now we're gonna take it apart. We did test it previously. It seems to be working. Uh, everything that I did seemed to be working on it. So I'm just gonna take it apart now and then I'm just gonna clean it. And then we're gonna fix the joystick because the joystick is, not supposed to be floppy like that. Let's get to disassembling this. <laughs> yeah, those screws have seen better days too. The good news is this probably hasn't been apart based on the fact that each screw is just makes that loud snapping noise. So hopefully every, all of the filth is contained to the outside. I know that's wishful thinking, but. So this is the one that's actually caked in the dirt. have these two up here. There we go. That did not want to free up. Right. I'm going to run the screws through the ultrasonic cleaner when we're when we're done, just because they're pretty gross. Ugh. Some sort of filth actually shot forward towards me. Let's gently take everything out. Oh no. Oh, we do have bad news. Bad news is the L button is broken. So I'm gonna have to get another L button. I know Rob and Rob, it will lose his mind if I replace it with anything aftermarket. So I'm just gonna steal one off of one of my controllers that I personally have and throw it in here and then just replace mine with an aftermarket because I don't care. So if it works, it works. Man, that screw actually has a lot of rust on it. Right. Doesn't look, the board itself luckily doesn't look bad. I'm gonna clean all this up though.
Now, for taking apart the actual joystick, only one of the two sides here for the Z button are flexible. It's the left one. So you can just take your thumb and just, as you can kind of see, just boop, a little, little pressure on the left side. This will come free. The right one is actually just a solid piece. So we can't, you know, just kind of replace, uh, we can't just pull on that one. We're gonna have to remove the cord here. All right. So this, I'm just gonna set off to the side right now. Oh, that just, it smells like moldy. Be glad you don't have to smell any of this. That's all I have to say. Just be, be happy about that. Ugh. <laughs> my hands, I can see the filth on my hands. All right, so now that we have this, I'm gonna throw this stuff in the ultrasonic cleaner. Don't worry guys, I'll let you watch that. And everything else is going to go into this here tub and we're just gonna soak it and wash it. All right, let's, uh, I'm actually just gonna keep disassembling this first. All right, so next we have this little screw here. Then we have these little tabs that basically you're just gonna pull. You can use either a tool to separate them or whatever you have. And then at the same time, you're just gonna kind of like lift very gently because you know, it's just plastic on plastic and that will separate it. So you can kind of see these little, these little catches right here on both sides. You just Prime them apart. Whoa, that is horrific. <laughs> wow. Holy cow, that is not supposed to look like that. This poor board. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that's getting cleaned. I've never seen this much just dirt, debris, or crud in a joystick before. This is absolutely incredible. Bravo, Rob. I have to say, you found the worst controller I've ever seen. <laughs> Genuinely impressed. Honestly, I'm lost for words. All right. Well, I guess we should keep taking this apart now. So this is just going to kind of twist. And then it's going to... Oh, that didn't... That was not even focused. Oh, man. Well, this will just kind of twist you can kind of see how it's keyed a certain way and then once it's twisted the same direction they'll pop free we have all of our little parts our spring same concept this will just twist and pop three through yeah so we're gonna we're gonna rebuild this i'm gonna start by obviously cleaning everything fun stuff Take all of our little gears out here. Am I not doing that on camera? Did, was that not on camera? If it wasn't, I'm mad at myself. But basically we're just gonna pull these apart. So we can separate our gears here. The gears are just absolutely filthy. So usually, these are the parts that fail usually on the, the N64 joystick. This little bowl here, and then these gears. So there's a company that makes brand new ones, and they are, from my experience, they seem to be absolutely perfect uh, remanufacturers of the same thing. I'm going to use those to rebuild this one here. I know I said earlier that Rob hates you know, replacement parts, but something like this, there really isn't an alternative unless you want to just steal parts out of another joystick. And even still, 
that one's also going to be used that one also is going to fail eventually the best bet is to just buy these remanufactured bowl and gear sets there are other companies that make replacement uh, the entire joystick replacement but from my experience they're not as good as the original and they're just a little tiny bit off for the average person it probably won't be a big deal but this is also I, I think I paid total for all of this. This is two sets because I'm gonna rebuild one of my mine as well. For two sets, I think I spent maybe like $5. Whereas buying a whole replacement one from a third party, I've seen them for around $13 to $15. So I feel like this is a, this is a more cost effective way and it's closer to the original thing. So that's the way I'm gonna go with this one. Let's, let's commence by getting this stuff in the ultrasonic cleaner and these big pieces in a bin and we're just gonna soak them. Let me start with that. This is the donor N64 controller. Then I'm gonna steal the left bumper on and something that I noticed here. The joystick is physically mangled. Look at that, like, angle there. So that's, I was gonna clean this up and I realized this is actually like really damaged. So we're gonna have to replace the thumbstick as well. So hopefully this joystick is in better condition and I'm just gonna swap the two. And this controller, I'm gonna rebuild and I'll just put whatever aftermarket left bumper and whatever aftermarket little thumbstick on there because this is just a plain regular gray controller and it doesn't really matter. So um, I'm going to take this apart off camera and do that because you guys don't really need to see that. But um, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing me replace this with replacement parts. Uh, this was not planned to be on camera ever in its life, but now after looking at stuff, it looks like uh, we're gonna have to rob some parts off of this. Uh, fun story about this. I don't know if this is interesting or not. I'm going off on a side tangent here. This was literally found in a dumpster. Not a joke, not kidding. Actually found in a dumpster. So, uh, <laughs> I was gonna just bring new life into the poor little dumpster N64 controller, but now I'm robbing parts off of it and I, part of me does feel bad about that. <laughs> so I'm saving it from the dumpster only to be cannibalized <laughs> to save uh, a Pokemon uh, Pikachu N64 controller. But I am gonna fix this, just not with OEM parts. I'm just gonna use whatever random aftermarket parts I can find. So, anyways, whatever. Since I know you guys love the ultrasonic cleaner action, I brought out two ultrasonic cleaners this time. We got my big boy here, this one here, which is massive. This actually has a heated mode, which I'm not gonna use on the plastics. And then I got this little dinky one over here. The reason why I chose these two is this is the one that I wanted to use, and this is the one that'll physically fit on camera next to it, so. I'm gonna use this one to put all of my screws and everything into. So all of these little bits and pieces, all the metal stuff, we're just gonna put in this ultrasonic cleaner and let it do its thing. I'm gonna throw this spring in there too. So we're just gonna let all that go in there. And then this one's just getting all of the plastic and rubber bits, like all of this stuff is just gonna go in here. Look at, I don't know if you can see all of the filth that's on this, all the grime, everything. Ugh, gross. Each one of these buttons has just like a ring of just filth. <laughs> that is so disgusting. Look how bad that one is.
Oof. All right. Oh, I almost forgot all of these parts. I'm gonna throw all you in here too. The only things I'm not throwing in there is just gonna be like the PCB. I know, unfortunately, you can't really see anything because all the soap bubbles, but. We're just gonna let them clean for a while. Let that run. Much better looking. I'm gonna hit everything with a toothbrush just to clean off any loose debris that's on there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with all of these pieces in here. I'm just gonna grab a random one. That looks so much better. So if we just grab a couple of random pieces here, these look so much better. They're so much less, oh God. So I'm gonna cut right now. I'm gonna take all this to my sink so I can dump the water out. And I'm gonna clean it all up over there where my sink is and I'm gonna let this stuff dry and then I'll be back to work on the shell. So we're gonna take a little cut here. A little cut. All right, so now we're gonna clean off the, uh, we're gonna have to clean the, the shells now. So I'm gonna dump both of the shells in a thing of warm soapy water here. They're kind of too big for the actual ultrasonic cleaner just because they're physical size that and i didn't want to damage any of the actual uh lettering on here so we're just gonna let you soak in there subscribe Just trying to be very careful around the actual lettering to make sure I don't make sure I don't actually wipe any of that off. Oh, so just gross. Probably about as clean as we're gonna get it from the soapy water. It's still really just heavily scuffed up and scratched up. All right, I think that's good for right now. It's about as clean as I think I'm gonna get her. It's still pretty heavily scuffed up. I don't know if I can get any of these scratches out or any of this off. I'm gonna let this dry and we're gonna come back. We're gonna work on cleaning the board because the board is still filthy. And uh, yeah, then I guess should be good to probably start assembling it hopefully soon. All right, that's that's enough of this. I just wanna show the difference between the thumbstick that was in the Pikachu controller. You see that nice just bend right there versus what the thumbstick is supposed to look like. Now mind you, this still came out of a heavily used, very worn, uh, whoops. A heavily used, very worn N64 that was found in a dumpster. <laughs> So, and even still, much better condition. That 
Yeah, I've never seen one so badly damaged that this was just bent like that. My assumption is wherever it was sitting, it was just pressed in with a bunch of weight on it and so it caused that to bend over time. That's just kind of my assumption because otherwise I don't really know how you you bend that like that. It was clearly sitting for a long time so it must have just been sitting on the joystick face down for a very very long time with a bunch of weight on it. So we're gonna put this one into the Pikachu N64 but don't worry I will rebuild this in some facet at some point. Uh, I'm not really sure how or what I'm going to do. If you have any suggestions on any ideas or anything, let me know. But I think I'm just going to try to find a remanufactured thumbstick and a remanufactured left button. Okay, whatever. End of that. All right, I think this is about as clean as it's going to get. I've got all of our little bits and pieces here all nice and cleaned up. All the little membrane pads and all the buttons and everything. Some of the little pieces still have scarring and scratching on them. There's not really much more I can do with that. Some of the pieces like this here, it's heavily scratched up. I do believe it's from where the original joystick was just pressed in and just mashed against it for a period of time. But also just through here is just beat. So someone really went to town on this thing. So there's stuff like that. There's nothing more really I can do with this. Uh, so this is just always going to have those marks unless you replaced it with a, another better condition one. But the outside of the shell also still has some permanent scarring and permanent scratches to it, which there's nothing really you can do about that. This is as good of condition as I think this will ever be. And Rob, if you're not happy with it, well, I'll buy it off you, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> this is still good enough, I think. All right, I'm just gonna clean up the boards here real quick. So I'm gonna clean up this, because this is still absolutely awful. And I have to clean up the little sensors for the uh, for the joystick because this is still disgusting. So we're gonna hit that with some isopropyl alcohol. Not as bad as I expected that to be, considering how gross this cord looks. Let's try and free this up here. I wonder how long this has just been tangled up like that. All right, we're gonna give that a good cleaning. I just want to emphasize how filthy this cord is. It is not supposed to be this color of white and brown and gray. <laughs> it's supposed to be black. You can actually just feel the grime on your fingers. All right, so this is more what it's supposed to be rather than that. So you can kind of get a nice side-by-side -side comparison. Look at how gross this is. Blech. We do have some damage to the cord, which is not visible because it was tangled up. If this was a pristine condition controller I would probably recommend replacing this cord you know if you're just trying to really get absolute value and all that from it but since this is already scuffed and beat up I think that little nick and that cords can be fine 
Look at how gross that is. But our cord's looking a lot better now. <laughs> it's just more keeps coming off every t every single pass that I make. I think we're pretty good now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this in my washing machine. <laughs> Cause that is awful. All right, I think, I think we're good to assemble all of this. We have all of our nice clean pieces and our lovely uh, replacement components like our left bumper and thumbstick from our sad dumpster N64 controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this all back together. Oh, you know what? I, I was wrong. There's one more thing I wanted to show you. I did mention that we did, we are replacing this bowl here and these gears. These are the new ones uh, that I got for this. So these are just going to go in the same way as the the old one came out. But we do have to do a little bit of reassembly where we got to put these gears back in. All right, we gotta reassemble this here. So this basically slides in and then you have these two notches at the top. So you have to turn it and then you just turn it again. neatly slot into place how it's supposed to go <laughs> all right i really don't remember where i left off i'm not gonna lie there's a very huge timeline in me working on this cut because i ended up getting covid and so that's kind of out of commission and i'm just getting over it now i don't know if my voice still sounds a little off uh i don't remember if i explained exactly what I'm doing in rebuilding the the joystick so I figure I'm just gonna explain that now because uh, I don't think I was doing a good job the main thing that fails on the joystick for a N64 is you have two different parts you have this bowl right here which the stick goes into and then as you're moving it around it starts to get worn away I have a brand new one that I put in this one here the other part that needs to be replaced is you have these two gears. Now they line up. <laughs> so these two gears interact with the, um, the actual thumbstick itself. And over time, that little ball there will start to ru rub down the plastic and work away the plastic on these two gears here. So these are the old ones. Uh, obviously they're just completely filthy, but they are, they are slightly worn down on the inside as well. Now, <laughs> now an important thing to note, I've never seen anyone really talk about this in like videos on rebuilding these, uh, joysticks. Uh, they're two different sizes. You have a physically a larger one, which will go on the bottom here. And then you have a smaller one, which will go on the actual thumbstick itself. And then you just line the two up. You line the, the thumbstick with the slot there. So this one is going to be facing the other direction. So it's uh, um, held in place by this flat piece on the thumbstick. And then this one, the thumbstick is just going to slot right in there. And boom, we have our new thumbstick assembled. 
So that's really all there is to the rebuild. Replacing this bowl here and these two gears. Obviously you wanna clean everything as well once it's apart, but uh, if you replace these parts here, this should restore this back to uh, original quality. Now, another thing to note, this isn't the original thumbstick as well. This is out of my donor N64 controller because th this thumbstick was really badly bent and I've never seen one bent like that before. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm just going to reassemble this off camera now because you don't really need to see me put it all back together. And then when we cut, it should be fixed, hopefully. All right, I'm just gonna do a little cut and we come back together. Our N64 controller should be back together and in much better condition than it was when we started. Okay, cool. Uh, my microphone died at some point and I don't know where it cut off. Oh, hi Daisy. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, the N64 controller is done. It's about as clean as it is going to get. It's still not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. We did have to replace the L button, the thumbstick got replaced, and we rebuilt the inner gears and the, the bowl that's in there. This went through a deep clean, and <laughs> Daisy helped tremendously, didn't you, buddy? <laughs> so, um... But yeah, I mean, it's still heavily scuffed up. It's he it's heavily scratched. It's always going to be pretty scratched and scuffed up. There's not much more I can do about that. But it's not gross to hold anymore, which is awesome. And the thumbstick works like it's brand new again. So uh, I call this a success, and I would love to own one someday. Uh, so, but yeah, stay tuned. Next thing we have is we have to work on the Pikachu Pokemon n64 here our little reset button isn't working and it is properly filthy there is dirt in every crack and crevice this thing is disgusting so this is going to be a whole work in progress uh hi <laughs> daisy you just love interrupting me um so yeah so come back stay tuned uh because we will be working on this next uh i hope you enjoyed the video